Many people say that if Almighty God can do anything and everything, why can't He become a human being? If Almighty God becomes a human being, then He ceases to be God. Because the qualities of Almighty God and human beings are opposite. Human beings, we are mortal. Almighty God is immortal. You cannot have a mortal and immortal person at the same time. Human beings, we've got an end. Almighty God, he's got no end. You cannot have a person with an end and no end at the same time. Human beings, we've got a beginning. Almighty God, he's got no beginning. You cannot have a person with no beginning and beginning at the same time. It's meaningless. It's like you telling me, I saw a tall short man. Either you can see a tall man or a short man or a medium man. It's like you telling me, I saw a fat thin man. Either you can see a fat man or a thin man. You cannot see a fat thin man. We human beings, we require to eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 14, And he feeds, but he is not fed. We human beings, we require to sleep, we require to rest. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 255, Allah la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum la ta'khudhuhu sinatu wa la nawm lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard that there is no god except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no slumber can seize him nor does he require to sleep all that is in the heavens and the earth belongs to him and why should we worship a human being just like you and I if in the same argument if almighty god can do anything and everything if you go a step further, Almighty God, He can even tell a lie. He can even make a mistake. He can even do injustice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Nisa chapter number 4, verse number 40, Inna Allah la yadlim dharra. Allah does not commit injustice even in the least bit. If in the same argument that Almighty God can do anything and everything, if you go a step further, then Almighty God, He can even tell a lie. He can even make a mistake. He can even forget. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 52. La wa la yansa. Almighty God, He never forgets. La rabbi wa la yansa. Lord, He never forgets. So nowhere in the glorious Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah can do anything and everything. What does He say? Inna Allah ala kulli qadir. For verily, Allah hath power over everything. And it is mentioned several places in the glorious Quran. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 106. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 109. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 284. In Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 29. In Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 77. And in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 1. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. For verily, Allah hath power over all things.